Hey guys, this is Manak and you are watching Civil Bros. So, friends, in today's video, we'll discuss a 1500 square foot south facing plan. And after we discuss all the elements, we'll also discuss about the Vastu part. So, let's get started. And if you like our effort, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us to reach more people. Okay. So, now uh, we have this particular plan. As you can see, 1500 square foot south facing plan. And uh, the requirement was mainly, you know, two bedrooms or three bedrooms one for himself one for the client and, uh, and two for his uh, daughters and then uh, parking a puja room and kitchen and dining area and some options or plans as per you know was to so we'll discuss uh all so first of all the main sizes as you can see this is 37 uh, feet around and this is 42 feet and there are some projections so we'll discuss everything so we have roads along two sides that is along south we have 120 feet road and along you know your uh, west direction we have a nine feet road so main road is along the south road so it will be easier for the parking so the parking uh, first in the first option are given in the southwest direction so it is 12 feet 6 inches into 16 feet 11 inches the parking so it will be suitable for so ideally you'll get around 10 feet here because there is a door so they will be suitable for one four wheeler and uh, three to four two wheelers and there will be enough space for entrance so then you come to the living area so living area uh, is quite large around you know uh, 17 feet into 13 feet will get in this living area and uh, there will be a quarter turn staircase these type of staircases look very good in the living area this uh, you can do some gardens and you can provide tv set all types of designs can be done here in this part and uh, and above this we have the two bedrooms 12 by 13 bedroom for both the you know uh both the rooms uh, for both the client's daughter so both has an attached toilet so this bedroom has this toilet you know so sorry this bedroom can have this toilet in attached that is uh, a little bit wrong and this bedroom can have this toilet as attached and another toilet can be a common toilet so here uh, usually we can provide a you know you know your open to sky or OTS where also you can provide uh, you know this uh, rent where the gas can pass here so this can be done then we have uh, you know puja space so puja space is six feet six inches into eight feet so so this is the plan and in the bottom if you come the master bedroom is you know exactly in the south so this is the master bedroom four feet four feet six inches into 12 feet four inches and we have the kitchen in the southeast corner that is 10 feet into 8 feet 6 inches so as you can see the rooms are you know pretty much you know spacious rooms the designs and we'll also look at the positive and negatives of this uh, in terms of planning so in terms of planning the positive is the plumbing is along two sides as you can see if in a building uh, especially in a small residential building you can do the give the toilets and kitchen uh, you know in uh, two sides or the toilets in one side that is better so toilet is in main, mainly in the two side and uh, as you can see if the pipe from for the toilet comes here and pipe uh, another pipe comes from here there won't be much distance so another uh, pipe uh, will be required for the brown water from the kitchen but that will be manageable so the plumbing for the toilet is along the two side that is one positive let's move on to the vastu part now for the vastu uh for the starting with the southwest position the best position is for the master bedroom the southwest that is exactly in this option which i have made the master bedroom because this is the position of the earth element and it provides the stability to the mind of the master or the owner of the house okay so this is uh, this position southwest is good for the master bedroom so this can be an option but here i have provided the parking in this option next uh, you know parking position you know is ideally is better in northwest but here it is not possible so you know it is given here and then the kitchen the best position is the southeast or the agnecon or the position of the fire element so it is in the best position the kitchen and the puja room also is in the ishan cone or the you know auspicious uh you know zone so it is also in that particular place the northeast the fresh rays of the sun come in the northeast here so you know that the, the rays are free from the ultraviolet rays so that's why you know it is more suitable for the puja room so the puja room is in a good pay, uh, uh, position toilets uh, speaking of toilets generally toilets are you know suitable in the west and the south but since south will be the front of the building we cannot provide toilets really because 
you know it will it will uh, not good look good on the elevation part so provide a toilet in in the north and also the west so these are the two location for the toilets and overall uh, the position of the staircase is also very important part as you can see the staircase direction is from you know clockwise and it is in the west direction and as per vast we have uh, three you know main location for the staircase that is your west south and northwest so it is in west so it is a very good position for staircase so overall in this particular plan we will say that it is around uh, you know 60% uh, suitable for the vastu and if we consider this particular option here the master in the master bedroom is also at the best position so it is i'll call it 70% suitable for the vastu exact 100% uh, larger space will be required for the planning so so this is the planning part and uh, here we have discussed a 15 in the square feet plan so if you like this kind of videos and if you want more uh, videos do leave a comment and also uh, i hope that wherever you are you are happy and keep learning bye bye